want to give you a quick tip of the day. Remember I was telling you you've got to know your direction of your fabric and keep it consistent throughout? Well, this is why. Some people may think, oh, it's no big deal. Well, some fabrics, it is a big deal. So let me show you this. Now, we said this is up on our fabric for this video, correct? And it is. So I'm going to take this fabric and show you if I ran it the opposite direction by not paying attention. Hopefully you can see the contrast difference. So you can sometimes see when people didn't pay attention when they do a slip cover. You can look around the outside back, you look on the inside back, and you can clearly see a casting shadow. And I hope it shows up well on the uh, video there, but at certain angles, this is extremely light to me at this angle I'm at, and the fabric laying down on the table is dark. Another good reason to know the direction of your fabric constantly when you're working with it, when it's shadowing, is when it comes to seat cushions or even back cushions. And I'll give you an example. This is a back cushion off of a sofa, and most sofas would have uh, two or maybe three um, cushions. Uh, primarily with the seat cushions, it becomes a real problem because when the cushion is laying down, this is called your front band here, okay? And if it's casting a shadow, the band from this, that's going to be a problem. And if it's what some people call is a half T, some people call it a bull nose. If you have that on your uh, sofa, when you flip it around and they're not going in the right direction, then they're going to be constantly competing with each other. That one is light gray with the um, uh, top of it casting a shadow to the band. And that one over there is dark gray if your fabric happens to be gray. So it's important when you put aside fabric for cushion bands that you continue to make reference marks as to what the up is. So when you come back at it uh, to work on it later on, you know which direction it needs to go. It only applies to uh, bull nose or half tee cushions. So I hope that made it a little bit easier for you to make sure you don't do all that work and have casting on your seat cushions or back cushions. Thanks for watching.